Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and having a fantastic week. In today's video, we're talking all about substrate for birds. Now I've spoken about substrate in loads of different videos, but I've never done like a standalone video about it. So we're doing that today. I'm gonna to talk about why substrate is a really good idea for your birds, uh, debunk some of those myths that people have about using substrate, and I'll also tell you the one that we recommend, uh, which you probably know what it is if you're watching our videos for a long time. Um, but we'll talk all about that later in the video. But we want to start off with what is substrate? And essentially substrate is just a cage floor covering. So most cages will come with bars and you're supposed to put paper underneath the bars and then change that regularly and the kind of bottom of the cage is really closed off to birds, which is a really unusual cage design. I mean, if you think about um, birds in the wild, you know, there are no bars out there. It's all natural substrate style flooring, obviously, because it is the wild. So why not give birds that kind of choice under human care? Because choice is so important. It's something I go on about a lot as well. There are so many choices birds don't have when they live in our homes. So what choices can we give them and how can we enrich the space to the best of our abilities? And that is where substrate is kind of the next level up. Now, of course, I'm not demonizing anyone who does use bars. I know certain cages are really tricky to take the bars out of, but if you have the option to use substrate, then you can absolutely do it. And of course, Scampi is gonna spend this whole video flipping, it's his favorite thing to do. You're gonna wave to everyone as well. Oh, you're such a smart man. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is why even use substrate? You know, if bars are working for me, why should I use substrate? And honestly, there are so many reasons. Uh, we're gonna cover as many as possible today, but substrate really does uh, change your bird's life. So the first reason that's really important is when you have a substrate base instead of bars, it opens up all of the cage because quite often birds will only use the top third of the cage, maybe even the top half. Whereas if you take those bars out, make the base of the cage really interesting, you can use that whole space. And again, that really opens up more enrichment opportunities for your bird and it just gives them more to do, give them more options as well. Now for birds like budgies and cockatiels, they are natural ground feeders. So being on the ground is normal for them. And when they can't do that in typical cages, again, it's um, limiting some of their natural behaviors. But saying that, my conyers, all five of them, love going to the base of the cage. They're always down there foraging, playing, looking to get up to mischief on you. Um, so it really does benefit lots of different birds. Even bigger birds can benefit from it. Of course, the cost will go up when you are uh, furnishing cages that are bigger for bigger birds, but in my opinion, it's always worth it. Now, as I mentioned at the start, having a substrate base is far more natural than having uh, bars at the base of the cage because, you know, again, they wouldn't have that in the wild. So why not try and replicate some of the things that we're able to under human care? And that includes providing foraging opportunities because in the wild, parrots would be spending about 50 to 70% of their waking day foraging. And that is something they can do on the base of the cage as well. You can provide trays, they can just forage in the substrate, they can just use more of that space. So if we can allow birds to express as many desirable natural behaviors as possible, they're going to be more mentally and physically stimulated, it's gonna promote exercise as well, and it's give them more to do in their activity budgets when they are awake. One of the other awesome benefits, which doesn't apply to all birds of course, but I wanted to talk about it, is for birds with additional needs, it's a really great way of being um, able to accommodate them in different cages. For example, we have our green cheek conya Louis, he has one leg and having a substrate base is amazing for him. He loves going down there, he can sit down there if he wants to and it's nice and comfortable for him and he can just get around really nice and easily. Again, if you have a bird who needs to be on a flat surface, who prefers that, uh, maybe they have a vision impairment or a mobility impairment, again, a substrate base is another way of giving them something that allows them to express natural behaviors and you know it just really opens up their world for them and it's just so mentally and physically stimulating even for a bird with additional needs or a disability. Something again that people don't necessarily realize is substrate is actually really good for your bird's feet. Now again, if you have bars on the base of the cage, your bird may not go down there, but if they do, it's not very comfortable for your bird to be down there walking on bars, maybe walking on poopy bars. Um, you know, quite often, I mean, we see it when our birds are on top of their cages, sometimes they'll be walking along and their foot will accidentally go through. And that's gonna happen when they're on the base of the cage as well. So we wanna be bearing in mind how we can be really kind on our bird's feet. And substrate is a really fantastic way to do that. So now we've talked about why substrate is a great idea. Let's talk about how to actually provide it. Now, ideally, you need to be taking those cage bars out of your cage. You may have seen in some of our 
cage setup videos or how I clean my bird cages, there is an ever so slight gap because I'm able to uh, push the uh, tray into where the bar slides would go. So I can kind of have a very small gap and that works for my birds. I've also used cardboard underneath the tray to kind of prop it up so there isn't much of a gap and that works. However, if you do have one of those really annoying cages where if you take the bars out, there's gonna be a huge gap, what you can do instead is try and find a tray that you can have on the base of the cage with substrate and foraging material in so you can still give them the kind of option of a substrate base where the kind of bars get in the way and you can just place it on top of the bars so that's another way of kind of making do with what you have. Now you want to have a decent covering of substrate on the base um, it doesn't have to be really thick but you do want it to have it a decent amount because you are going to be cleaning it regularly and this is what I wanted to talk about next in order to keep a substrate base nice and clean you want to be spot cleaning twice a day so that means popping in and picking up any poops and any food twice a day now I do it with four of my cages it takes me less than two minutes I know a lot of people say oh it's gonna take ages you know I haven't got time to do substrate but with four cages with seven very messy birds honestly it takes me two minutes to spot clean each time so it's so worth it and really doesn't add much to my day in terms of what I have to do uh, but you do also have to full clean of course as you do with all cages and a full clean needs to take place um, at the maximum once a week it's what we do here and it works fine for us and that means taking all the substrate out brushing it all out uh, spraying it down with a disinfectant that's safe to use for birds which is uh, we use F10 um, wiping it down and then replacing the substrate again it's very easy to do it really doesn't take very long it doesn't add much to what we have to do with the birds but again it really does enrich their lives so I think it's worth just adding those two minutes four minutes to your day to spot clean the birds um, and then they can be nice and happy and enjoying that base now in terms of what we use for substrate, our substrate of choice has and always will be Easy Chick. I am a brand ambassador for Easy Chick, but we have been using it for a really long time. We absolutely love it. It's dust free, it's bacteria free as well because it's treated with an organic substance, which means that it gives you peace of mind. There's not gonna be any bacteria down there that might harm your birds. And it's also biodegradable as well. And it's just a really fantastic product. It's very affordable. And all of our birds absolutely love playing down in the Easy Chick. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you create like a substrate base and some ideas to make it even more enriching, not just having the substrate down there, but other ways that you can improve having your substrate base. So as you can see, we've got our lovely Easy Chick all nice and clean, and then you can fill the base with lots of different fun things. So we've got things like paper straws, a piece of cork bark they can chew up, we can hide treats in. We've got little foraging trays you can use, um, little foot toys half eaten star they love these stars um, a balsa block more straws a little rattan ball as well the birds are very excited but this is just an example of some of the ways that you can make the base of the cage really enriching and fun and then open up that whole space now currently easy chick is only available in the uk but i get messages pretty much on a daily basis from people all around the world saying oh, i really want easy chick so what i'd recommend is sending easy chick a message because i know there's so many of you out there who would love it because when they know that there's a huge demand there's more chance of it being accessible in your country but if you are somewhere that doesn't have easy chick do leave me a comment and i'll see if i can find some alternatives for you because there are things that you want to avoid using for a substrate base um, there are things out there that can go moldy really easily uh, which easy chick does not which is always a good thing uh, there are things you know that have too much dust again easy chick is dust free so that's good so you need to be really mindful about what you are using for a substrate base so do make sure you leave me a comment down below if you want more information or my dms are always open on instagram if you want to talk all things substrate because i talk about it all the time uh, but as i said we just absolutely love easy chick and we would definitely not use anything else because it just works so well for our birds they all absolutely love it and um, it's just really fantastic and affordable so do go and check it out i have links down to easy chick in the description if you want to learn more um, but let's move on to some of the myths that surround substrate because there's definitely a bit of fear mongering that goes on with substrate people are so worried about using it and you know doing something different but I wanted to debunk a few of those and hopefully give you peace of mind that you can try substrate with your birds and it will be nice and safe for them so the first myth that I want to debunk is if I use substrate with my birds, it's going to make my birds sick, they're going to chew something, they're going to be stepping in their poo and they're going to get sick. So let's start with that one. 
Firstly, you should be spot cleaning your cage twice a day. So there shouldn't be any rotting food in there. You know, I've spoken about this with Dr. Jason Crean. If you have fresh food in your bird's cage, it is not gonna go rotten within 24 hours. So if there are, you know, moldy food and rotten food in your cage and it's been in there for too long, um, but you should be spot cleaning once in the morning and once in the evening as a minimum. Sometimes I'll do a quick little um, spruce around when the birds are out or at lunchtime, that kind of thing. But if you are keeping on top of the cleaning and you're making sure you're doing a full clean once a week, then there's absolutely no reason why there would be any kind of bacteria that would harm your bird. And also people are so worried about their birds coming into contact with their own poops. Again, in the wild, birds do not live in a sterile environment and nor should we provide a sterile environment under human care. That's not to say that birds should be living in filth. Please don't take that out of context. Birds should be living in a clean environment, but it shouldn't be absolutely free of bacteria and anything else that, you know, they never come into contact with anything, any filth because that's not reality. And in fact, if your bird does step in its own poop, it's not going to get sick and die. I can promise you, you know, sometimes it happens. You know, they sometimes poop on their own perches, but you know, birds shouldn't be eating their own poops. That's definitely a cause for concern. But again, if they are playing on the substrate base and you're keeping it clean by spot cleaning twice a day, there will not be a build up of filth. There will not be a build up of old food or poop. It means that they can still enjoy that space and be happy and healthy. And again, you know, I've got seven birds. I've been using substrate for ages. They're totally fine. Again, I've worked in zoos and wildlife parks and farms and things. They don't have their birds on bars or anything. They all have substrate bases and that's because it's so enriching for birds and because keeping it clean means that your birds can stay nice and safe happy and healthy the next myth i hear a lot is well having a substrate base is going to make my bird hormonal and my fiance david actually did a whole video on this so i will leave a card for it now at the top and a link in the description but ultimately a substrate base should not make your bird hormonal there will be some birds who are very hormonal however typically speaking there are other external factors which are going to be causing your bird to behave in this way that could be a uh, lack of sleep it could be diet it could be lack of stimulation it could be all different kinds of things it could be covering sometimes as well so there are lots of different things that can make your bird hormonal substrate isn't necessarily going to be the one cause however the benefit of using substrate when your bird is hormonal is that if they do become hormonal when you're using substrate you can take it out for a week and just use you know plain flat plain paper printer paper and then it may snap them out of it and then you can go back to using substrate whereas if you haven't got anything down there at all you kind of haven't got that tool in your tool belt so having substrate can actually help snap your bird out of hormonal surges so that's just a really awesome one but again david has a lot more information in his video so do go and check that out after this one the next myth i hear is that well you know my bird doesn't go down to the base of the cage anyway so why should i use substrate and again is probably the case because they don't want to go down there. If there's only bars down there, then why would they want to? And sometimes you do have to teach your birds that, hey, it's okay to go down here because there's lots of fun things to do. So we use things like target training and just making that place really accessible by using rope perches or other perches. Um, and then you can, encourage them to go down there you can lure them with treats if you have to and then they can learn that hey it's really cool to be down here but again you do have to teach your birds different things and that sometimes includes using more of the cage so don't be afraid to teach your bird that it's okay to go down below into the substrate uh, and then they can have lots more fun and the last myth that I wanted to debunk was, oh, it's really hard to maintain substrate. It's really messy. Uh, I haven't got time to do it. And again, I come back to what I said at the start. With my four big cages, it takes me two minutes to poop pick. It really doesn't take very long to do that spot cleaning twice a day. Um, and we are a bit very busy here. So um, it's worth every single second minute that I spend because it really does enrich the birds' lives. Again, the full clean is gonna take as long as it would with any other kind of cleaning. And in fact, uh, when you actually have bars on the base of the cage, I find that takes even longer to clean because you have to take them out, you have to scrub them and then rinse them off and probably scrub them again a few more times because they just hang on to all that poops. Whereas, you know, you can just pick up the poo and get rid of it from the substrate. So I find that it just works so much better. It really doesn't take up any extra time. Is it messy? sometimes for this little monster pickles she <laughs> on clean out day she does like to kick some of it out she gets quite excited she likes to kind of burrow around in it um but again it's not really a big deal i'm kind of vacuuming twice a day anyway so i just vacuum up the extra substrate or if she chucks out loads of it i just put it back in the cage and then we can reuse it but um it's really not as inconvenient as people think um because you know we should be keeping on top of cleaning anyway with our birds and what's a few extra minutes here and there if it means that they're going to be even more enriched 
So that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit more about Substrate and EasyChick as well. As I said, there's gonna be links down in the description so you can learn more about EasyChick and what the benefits are as well, but it's something that we're really passionate about using. Again, if you live somewhere else in the world, do leave me a comment and I will try and find you an alternative, but make sure you message EasyChick and let them know that you want it in your part of the world because maybe if enough people tell them, maybe it will start appearing in stores near you. But if you have any other questions about Substrate or any other concerns you may have heard online, any fear mongering, do leave me a comment because I want to kind of debunk some of these myths so that we can continue to improve our bird care and continue to give them the best lives possible. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here today and watching my content and take care and see you later.